and we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks for joining us as we start the new season. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Well, there may be a lot of games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. A look at the 76ers starting group. Tucker and Embiid make up the front court. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Harden. Man, if you're going to grab it, grab that thing. He just lazily reaches out for that, and the result is it's deflected right off of his hand. Now here's Lillard. Out of the Kumpo, outside. To the middle. Here's Middleton. Rebound by the 76ers. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Second chance shot. Rebounded by Lopez. Lillard looking around. Over Harden. The rebound by Maxi. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Now, those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Here's Milwaukee. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. Yeah, we saw how combative yet enjoyable last season's series was. Two very excellent teams going at it. Yeah, people who saw this game got their money's worth, and it was fitting that they split the season series, given the enormous talent level on both sides. The D keyed in too much on Harden there, leaving his man wide open. It seems you could bring in anybody to this team and pair him with him. Yes, oh, sir! Oh, oh, my! Throw that one up, Todd. What a play! Another reminder that Damian Lillard can be explosive, and we love him. Embiid a screen on Lillard. Harden the pass to Harris. Here's Embiid. That shot missing. Good work defensively by Lopez. Lillard finds Lopez. Lillard against Tucker. Crosses over. And the dunk by Lillard. You know, not many guys can change pace on the dribble the way Lillard does it. Just phenomenal. Fires from the line. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Middleton outside. There's 38 seconds left now in the first quarter. Lana Nakumpo for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Feeling more and more comfortable in this offense. This is Chris Middleton making a play. Harden surveying the D. Nice move. Good D by Middleton. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Here's Ana de Kumpo. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player. His ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Down low. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Bucks on top. They're up by three. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. And the 76ers, looking at who they've got. They've got Paul Reed, DeAnthony Melton out there with James Harden. Then there's Kelly Oubre, and it's Bamba in at the center, locking down the middle. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. 
Well, Damian Lillard embraces the big moments. He said, quote, I don't know why, I just do it. It's internal. I'm always talking to myself like, quote, I have to find a way. This is an opportunity to rise and to come up big. You've got to get it going. It's a real thing. You just demand that something extra of yourself. Brian? Thank you, Allie. Dame time is very real. Now Lillard. He's got 10. And another three for Milwaukee. Well, Grant, you were in the playoffs several times during your career. The postseason's just different from the regular season. It's 100% another level. I'll never forget my first series, 1996, against the great Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway of the Orlando Magic. Of course, yeah, my Pistons got swept. That was quite an introduction to the playoffs. To the inside, Bamba. And it's Bamba finishing strong. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Milwaukee has got all four threes to drop from downtown in this game. Pass to Middleton. Three-pointer. On target from range. Middleton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Kind of amazing that Lillard wasn't a big-time prospect at a high school friend. Well, size had a lot to do with that, B.A., and then Damian Lillard, it's, it's hard to scout Will, and he certainly has loads of that. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Bamba. Tucker comes in for Reed. Tobias Harris checked in for Oubre, and it's Maxi in for Melton. Here's Embiid. That one rolls around and rims out. He loved to make him pay for giving up that wide open jumper, just unable to do so. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. So we'll see Giannis Antetokounmpo go to the line here. That one on Tucker. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. And let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Basket counts. Embiid's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, this is what sets Embiid apart from other bigs. That mid-range game is on point. Lillard can't get it to go. I admire the play call. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Harden against Lillard. Kumpo, left side. Embiid with a steal. Harden against Lillard. Harden, the pass to Tucker. Back to Harden. Rebound by Middleton. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Lillard passes to Lopez. Here's Connaughton. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. Practically a block. <laughs> Good, strong challenge. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. The clock runs out, and we are headed to halftime. The Bucks on top, up by seven in Lillard. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. The heavyweights for this team, Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Lopez in at the center position, locking down the middle. And that's the group for Adrian Griffin as we begin the second half. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Embiid's got eight points. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. And Grant, while James Harden is no stranger to trade requests, the Sixers front office, no stranger to him either. And they've shown the patience to wait for the right deal before. In the meantime, there's the business of winning games. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Philly fans, they're known for their passion. And Tyrese Maxey said, I love them because they're real. They're honest and they're tough. They know the game, they know what they're talking about, and they know what players are getting out of it. They care about winning, and that's what I care about. Brian? Yeah, it's such a great sports city, too. Allie, thank you. Connaughton outside. Pass to Middleton. Anadokounmpo outside. Oh, 
broke loose. It's stolen by Maxi. Harris outside. Harden the pass to Harris. Here's Embiid. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got a rebound number five here tonight. Lopez, the screen on Harris. And he's going for the lob! Lopez can't hit. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Milwaukee has gone 6 of 6 from downtown thus far. Here's Adetokounmpo. And the Bucks miss again. The Sixers trailing. Who is stolen by Lillard. And they're pushing it up. Oh, and the jam by Lillard. No matter the situation, you know Lillard is going to show up in the box score. One of the best scorers I've seen. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. There's 47 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Maxi. Come on. I mean, what can you do defensively? Embiid is pretty much impossible to guard when his jumper is on. On to Kumpo with it. Out to Lillard. The three is up. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Harris on the wing. Middleton covering. And that one drops. Embiid's got 12 points in the game. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. Drills it from deep. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. At forward, it's Harrison Tucker. Maxie out there with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the center position. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got his sixth assist of the night. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Lillard outside. There's contact, but Lillard slips through. Nice move by Lillard against that contact. Able to really make an adjustment there. Philadelphia with the ball. They trail by nine. Here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. Going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Connaughton outside. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Buries it from three. Lillard's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Embiid with the nice defensive effort. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock. Shot clock at six. Ooh, look at Embiid converting it close. I love the confidence Embiid plays with, especially this close to the rim. Milwaukee in the lead. To the paint. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Inside. 
Here's Maxi. Rejected by Lopez. On to Kumpo inside. Checked by Tucker. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Bucks lead by 10. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Bucks. And they were on fire tonight. Fantastic offensive performance, Grant. Yeah, B.A., they really shot the ball well. I mean, their coach has to be beyond thrilled with how well they play. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Damian Lillard. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce chance to find out what Nick Nurse was discussing with his players. They told the team to dig deep, play with passion, finish this game out right. We'll see if they do, guys. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. To the paint. It's stolen by Maxi, And they're on the run. Here's Harden. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. One of the most creative offensive talents in the game. Carden simply just has a knack for creating contact. Carden hits them both. Here's Connaughton. Lillard with the ball. From the arc. Hits the trifecta. Lillard's got 31 points. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Harden's shot is good. So this one belongs to the Bucks. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Dame, you routinely make shots that most players would not even attempt. What enables you to have that kind of confidence? Sometimes in the summer, I work on the craziest things. You know, you never know what type of situation you're going to be in. Um, you got to be prepared for it. You know, so I've worked on my fair share of crazy shots, uh, crazy passes. And, you know, you don't make a high percentage of them, uh, but I made one tonight. Practice makes perfect. Thanks so much, Dame.